Hi, this is Jim Clary, and as you probably know by now, I'm the Senior Geek. What we're going to do here is we are going to review and strengthen, strengthen our passwords. First, a quick review. Want to make sure that we're that you're all set on your security as of now. So let's go check that two-factor authentication for your Apple ID. So we go to settings and uh, we go over to uh, your Apple ID right here at the top. And you want to make sure that under password and security that you've got um, two-factor on and you've got two phone numbers in there. Again, the first one is yours, the one for your iPhone. And then you wanted to have added one for um, a trusted person, your spouse or whoever, uh, that you can use in case your phone is unavailable. So you want two phone numbers in there. Okay, got that done. Let's go down here now, go back and back. Now we flip down to the uh, password and accounts. We select that, we're checking on that um, Keychain, make sure we've got it um, got it all set up. And you see here, autofill passwords. We want to check that. Make sure we've got uh, autofill passwords on and that we've got uh, iCloud Keychain checked. Make sure you've got that. All righty. Now you're ready to go. Now we're, now we're really um, uh, on the home stretch here. Now we want to go, as I said, and review our passwords and strengthen them. We want all of our passwords to be strong, to be what they call pseudo-random, that are generated by Keychain. No passwords that you made up should be should you continue to use. So, I've only got two passwords in mind for this example that we're using here, and I'm going to, so I, I suggest, recommend that you go down each one of these. I'm going to look at the um, LA Times here. I'm just going to skip the Dallas Morning News, but you should do all of them. So I just click on it. I go, aha, I didn't do a very good job here. I've, my password is testing one. So that's not good. So I do want to reset that password because I want um, Keychain to set it for me. So you can see down here, I've got LA Times as the uh, website. So I flip back up, I go to Safari, and I enter latimes.com. Now I'm lazy. I've already entered it, as you can see here. Um, LA Times uses this guy up here for login. So I go here. Remember, we're going to reset that password. Email address. Um, I'm going to, I could, I could use the um, keychain here to get my email address in. I'm not going to log in. I'll show you something that you can do here. I'm going to say I forgot my password. I found out this is the best way to reset them. You can reset them within it, but I've always found it's easier just to do it this way. So I'm going to say I forgot my password. Now I'm going to enter my email address. It's going to send me a um, an email. I'll be back with you when we pick that up. I'm going to enter my address and say send link. Okay, I entered my email address and it has sent one to me. So I'll say continue here and I'll flip over to my email. All right, I got that email for reset, unfortunately, or fortunately you can check it was in my junk email. That happens a lot of times when you reset your password. So make sure whatever email system you're using, you check your junk email if you don't receive it in your regular inbox. So it says uh, here I can reset it. So I'm going to do that. I click here and it's going to open the LA Times for me and I'm on the reset password. Again, that's why I find that's easiest to do. You can do it within the website, but I found it was easiest to do there. Okay, well, we're going to see a little bit of um, magic from um, Keychain here and we I select enter new password. So you notice the magic here. It is Keychain is generating strong pseudo random passwords for us. That's what you want to use. You want to use strong password. Do not choose my own password. Use the strong password. So I'm going to reset it. So I'm just going to say done here to get rid of the, um, the message from Keychain that and then I just simply say reset password 
And next time you log in, it says that we're to use that password. So I continue. Now, the other key thing you see here is now Keychain's popping back up and saying, hey, don't you want to update your password? We say, you bet we do. So we say update password. Now um, we can log in again, or we can make sure that we got it um, that we got it put in. So I go back over to my settings, to my passwords. Still got two of them. But now when I look on the LA Times, lo and behold, you see now we have a pseudo random password. As I said, you can tell if it's a keychain password, it's three groups of letters and numbers and um, that don't make any, any sense at all. You want this for each one of them. So again, first thing, go through and review your list of, um, of passwords that you've got in an uh, keychain and make sure particularly for those that are sensitive that you've got the keychain generated passwords. And again, you can tell that by just taking a look at them. Up to you on, on some of the just informative. Frankly, I like to change all of them, but uh, that's your call. But certainly the Amazons and, and those types of things, anything's got any credit card information or anything, you need to make sure that you're using um, the keychain generated um, pseudo random passwords and also for the important accounts and I'll have another um, YouTube video about this just like you set two-factor authentication on your Apple ID for all those important ones you should also set two-factor you need to get used to using two-factor you're probably used to using it on your bank account you need to use it um, you need to use it for everything Okay, once you finish with this list, go get that note or that sheet of paper or note on your computer, whatever you had, go over those lists, those passwords that you've stored. Make sure that you, number one, get them into Keychain. And the way you get them into Keychain is you go on, you go on and log into it. And then you, once you log in, Keychain's gonna pop up and ask you if you wanna save it. You say yes, then you'll want to also go through the, those and change those to pseudo random keychain generated passwords. Okay, uh, I think that takes care of everything. You're, if you've got that done, if, you, if you're using keychain random generated passwords, you've got them stored on keychain, you've got two factor authentication set on your Apple ID, as well as your other important accounts, of course. Um, Amazon, your email like Google for Gmail has two factor. I'll have a, I will have a video on how to do that. But anything that offers two factor authentication, you need to select it. And then you'll be doing all that you can do. It's just like using the key for your front door, having an alarm system, whatever it is. Yes, if someone wants to break in, they can break in. But you're making it much, much, much more difficult for them to do that. And generally speaking for us, since we're not particular targets for them, they'll just go to someone else. That's what you want to do, drive them to someone else. Anyway, hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, thumbs up would be most appreciated on the video. And also don't forget to subscribe to YouTube channel, The Senior Geek. As always, hope to see you in other um, YouTube videos and uh, take care and be secure. Thank you. Bye now.